Jacques Parizeau had a traditional bourgeois upbringing, attending the best schools in Montreal, then France, and obtaining a PhD from the London School of Economics by age 25. He chose to devote himself to what um, he thought was most important, and that was, you know, making sure Quebec stood on its own two feet. As a civil servant, he was instrumental in the creation of a Quebec pension fund manager and the nationalization of hydroelectricity. Then came an epiphany that would influence the rest of his career. It happened on a train ride to a conference in Banff. I started to write my paper, I hadn't had time to write it, and it started as a Federalist paper, and the conclusion was clearly uh, sovereignist. Parizeau joined René Lévesque and the upstart Parti Québécois. Elected in 1976, he later became finance minister and stood out with the look and sound of an elder statesman, simply known as Monsieur. When Premier Lévesque put sovereignty on the back burner, Perizzo wouldn't have it and left the PQ, only to return and become leader himself four years later. Perizzo brought the party back to power and promised to hold a second referendum on sovereignty. He did just that in 1995, with Quebecers coming within 1% of voting yes. C'est vrai qu'on a été battu au fond par quoi? Par l'argent puis des votes ethniques. Accused of racism, the phrase would haunt Perizzo for years. The next day, he announced he would leave politics. What he did in his life was so positive that uh, I, I hope and I think that over the years, Perizzo will stay monsieur. Even two decades later, although he was frail within the sovereignty movement, Perizzo's voice remained just as strong. His disapproval of the proposed Charter of Values came as a major blow to Pauline Marois' PQ government. In 2015, he said it would be up to the next generation to make up its own mind about sovereignty. He remained a sovereigntist until the end, hoping the movement wouldn't die even though he's gone. Thomas Dagg, CBC News, Montreal.